Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alayhi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'd ahabati fillah it's important for us to never ever first and foremost forget our purpose as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says wa ma khalaqtu al jinna wa lanta lili abudun I have not created mankind in the jinn except for the purpose of worshipping me and secondly to never forget to call upon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to supplicate to the one who created you. He's the only one worthy of worship. He's the only one who you can supplicate to because as the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, a dua hu ibadah, that supplication is worship. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says fi kitab al-kareem, وَقَالَ رَبُّكُمْ اَدْعُونِ يَسْتَجِبْ لَكُمْ and your Lord said, invoke me, and I will respond to you. Allah will respond to you in this life or the hereafter. So this is a reminder to myself and my brothers and sisters to supplicate often to Allah Azza wa Jal, to rely upon Him, seeking His assistance, seeking His protection, praising Him, thanking Him, showing gratefulness to your Lord, subhanahu and asking him for good in this life as well as the hereafter. As the Prophet ﷺ used to ask for that good in this life as well as the hereafter often. وَعَنَا نَسِ بِنْ مَالَكَ رَضِيَ اللَّهُ تَنَا عَنْهُ قَالَ كَانَ أَكْثَرَ دُعَاءِ نَبِيِّ صَلَى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمْ أَلَهُمَ آتِنَا فِي الدُّنْيَا حَسَنَا وَفِي الْآخِرَةِ حَسَنَا وَقِينَا عَذَابَ النَّارِ مُتَفَقٌ عَلَيْهِ Anas radiallahu ta'ala anhu reported the supplication most often recited by the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam <clears throat> was, O oh, our Lord, give us good in this world uh, and, and in the hereafter that which is good and save us from the punishment of the fire. So here the believer is asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for good in this life as well as the hereafter. And the scholars mention that it's desirable to recite this dua and those dua or ed'iya which are mentioned in the Quran. And this dua uh, corresponds or is comprehensive because it contains a supplication asking Allah alone for good in this life and asking Allah alone for good in the next. And that this was the sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to recite this supplication. And that his companions radiallahu ta'ala anu majma'een were eager in reciting this supplication as well, and to learn. So this is what the believer should strive to do. Supplicate often to Allah supplicate to Him and Him alone, because this is Tawheed al-Ibadah, and ask Him for good, ask of Him subhanahu wa ta'ala for good in this life as well as the hereafter, and we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bless us all with ilm al-nafid, us can tayyibu ilm al-mutaqabbinin and help the Muslims everywhere. And may Allah increase us all in iman, islam, ihsan, taqwa, sabr, ilm, wa hikmah. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.